Okay, so I imagine if you're clicking on this video, you are trying to get your blender from looking like this to this. In this tutorial, I promise I will try my best to make sure that you get there. Just bear with me and watch to the end because it's very important that you don't skip a step. Anyways, we're going to start on everything you actually need before you even begin because it's quite a lengthy process at the start. But once you get past that, everything becomes so much easier and you can be able to bust out thumbnails in like 20 seconds, 20 minutes maybe. Okay, so first and foremost, the two softwares that you absolutely need to even begin this process, link will be in the description to download this, is A, Cordycep, and B, Greyhound. These two are a must. If you don't have these installed, click in the description, download them, and come back to the video once you finish downloading those two. Okay, so now you've installed them. What you'll need to do, what I do, I put them on my desk, but you don't have to do this. Put them on your desktop, put them anywhere you want. But I find it for convenience sake, if I keep them on my desk bar next to Blender. Oh. Make sure you download Blender too. What I would recommend by downloading Blender, if you click on downloads at the very top, go down to looking for previous versions, click on previous versions, then click on download any Blender and scroll down until you see Blender 3.4. That's the one I personally use. I know that it doesn't work on 4.2. So don't download 4.2 because it doesn't work. 3.4 is the one I use. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm saying. So once you've got all them downloaded, what you'll need to do is open Cordycep. So the next thing I'm about to say, please make sure that you watch it before you try it, okay? Just so you understand what I'm trying to say. The first step you'll even need to do as far as touching Cordycep is dumping the game because Cordycep is a fake version of your current game. I personally find it so much easier if I use the notepad on my PC to type out everything you need prior to actually putting it into Cordycep. It makes life so much easier. However, the dump file you'll only need to do once. So before you dump the game, make sure that you have opened the game before. So I'd advise you to open the game as soon as the game boots up, close it down, open up Cordycep and continue with the dumping of the files. So you're going to start off with dumping the game. Dumping the game is basically extracting the entire game into this software which allows Greyhound, the software that you need to extract the guns, camos, operators, etc. into Blender. So please listen closely because I do not want to be responsible for anyone's misdoing. Okay, so with Cordycep open, just locate where your card game is downloaded. A quick and easy way to do this is by opening up whatever you use for the game. So Steam or Battle.net. I use Battle.net, so you'd click on your Battle.net, click on the options next to the play, up to show in Explorer, and from here it will open up your trajectory. Okay, so what you'll want to do is with this folder now open, you would want to go to retail, underscore retail, underscore, click on this, and scroll down until you find your COD EXE. Wouldn't be the COD crash handler, it has to be the one that says COD. From there, you want to click on it, shift and right click. Scroll up to where it says copy as path. Click on that. In here on Cordycep, all you have to do is type in EUMP base and then control plus V. So that'll paste the path to where your card game is located. From here, before you click enter into Cordycep, or please listen closely when I say this, make sure you unplug your ethernet or disconnect your Wi-Fi from your PC completely. In order for this to work 110% safely, you need to have been disconnected from your Wi-Fi. Once it comes up that you are disconnected, it should come up with a little globe icon at the bottom right, which means you have not got Wi-Fi. From there, you want to click enter. You know you have done it right once Cordycep tells you that your dump has been successfully completed. Once you see that pop up, ready to put your Wi-Fi back on, put your Ethernet back in. Everything from here on out is completely safe. Also, if you've made it this far in the tutorial, make sure you sub because I'm doing this for you, bro. Damn. Okay, so once you've dumped the game, it should give you a screen that looks just like this. Now that my Wi-Fi is reconnected, I've dumped the game and my screen looks like this. So it should come up green. You know you've done it correctly. Okay, with the game successfully dumped, the second step in Cordycep, set your handler. Oh, this is the similar process to dumping the game. This will require you to open your files, open your game trajectory. But instead of clicking on this card EXE, you want to go back where it says retail, data, beta, and battle.net. Or whatever it says on yours from here from here you want to click on this right click and copy in the description there will be the set handler with that copied you are completely fine to move on to the second step which will be to set your handler okay before setting your handler there's two things that you should keep in mind first thing make sure you open your game for at least a second you can close it immediately after just make sure that the game was open prior to opening up cordycep and second thing is i have a notepad where i keep all of my command prompts so I would recommend you doing the same. 
opening up a notepad, copying this command into a notepad, and throughout the tutorial just paste just paste accordingly to what your files say. So what you want to type in would be this right here, set handler mw6 init paste set locale prefix. You can copy this from the description, you won't have to type this out, but I would recommend putting this into a notepad just so whenever you boot up Cordycep, you won't have to type this all over again. For me, it says D games Call of Duty. So within those quotation marks, you would have to replace what mine is with what yours is. So erase what mine says and replace it with what yours says. You would just paste that into Cordycep and click enter. It will give you a little waiting screen. Game will be attempting to load. You'll then be prompted with a little attempting to initialize. That's normal. Just wait it out a little bit. Now that it's loaded, everything's green. We're good to go. With Cordycept, there's a couple command prompts that you have to do if you want to load specific items in the game. So you would want to start off with load WC base asterisk WM asterisk. So that will load up all the weapons in the game. Click enter. And boom, just watch every weapon and attachment get loaded into Cordycep. It may take a minute. Oh my god, there's a lot of shit in this game. Oh, okay. With that successfully loaded, you now do the same thing with your body and head. Body and head are two separate items in the game, so you have to render them separately. Load WC, base, asterisk, body, asterisk, enter. Now with all the bodies loaded, load WC, base, asterisk, head, Asterix, enter. That is the final thing you need to do on Cordycept. That is, you don't need to touch it anymore. Don't close it. Just minimize it because, well, I'm not too sure if it does anything if you close it. Now, you open Greyhound. Go down to the bottom right corner. Click on settings. In game settings, copy these. Model settings, copy these. So on. Assuming you have copied every setting correctly, we can move on to the fun stuff. Bottom left corner, load game. Every single thing that you just loaded into Cordycept now be in Greyhound. So in the description, again, it will be a website. I don't own this website. However, the Discord link for the guy who made the website will also be in the description. See, you're getting it. Okay. Okay, so with the website now open, we can click on whatever we want to export into the game. So these are, so this is going to tell you the names of every weapon and every operator in the game. From there, you copy and paste the names from the website into Greyhound. This makes it significantly easier to find what exactly you're looking for, whether it be a gun, attachment, operator, camo, etc. It's a lot easier, trust me. Okay, for this example, I'm going to grab Nicki Minaj as my operator for the thumbnail. If you click on the character, it should come up with a skin name, the image hash, blah, blah, blah. But these are the things you need to look at. The model, high res. So what we do, we copy body, open Greyhound, put it into the search bar, control V. See how it says model by here, which means it's successfully exported. So you double click there, wait for it to load. And boom, click on this little box down here, MW6, X models. And whatever her name was, it was Nima. And boom, the body is right by there. Same thing with the head, you'd copy, paste. It comes up with two models. So what you want to do is check that this is the right one. So the longer name is the low res, the high res is the shorter name. So you double click. As you can see, it came up with two. Which one we copied is the one we export. We don't export the long name because clearly that's the low resolution image. Whereas the high resolution would be the one with the short. You get the point. So now that both of them have successfully exported, you move over to Blender. What you want to do is you want to open Blender and create a brand new workspace. Delete everything that's there because you won't need it. Before we continue this tutorial, I want to quickly go over the basic controls of Blender for those who don't actually use the software a lot. Okay, so above me, there's a button called add. So if you want to add a cube, you can add a cube. That's not a cube. This comes in handy, especially when you want to add a camera. The camera is a necessity in this tutorial. So you go to add, down to camera, click on camera, and then boom. You can click on the zero on the number pad to go into the camera. You can bind a key bind in edit, preferences, key binds, search, camera. From here, you go to view camera and you can apply whatever button you want. I've got it to zero because you won't actually use that button for any other reason besides the camera. So now that you've done that and you've added your camera, delete the camera for now. You don't need it. So 
basic movement, your scroll wheel in and out would be your zoom in and out. If you hold the scroll wheel and go in and out, it moves the camera location. It typically follows the cursor. I've got it enabled in settings to follow the cursor. Shift scroll wheel will help you grab and move your camera initially around the screen. Shift scroll wheel. As far as objects go, G would be to move. Right click to undo. R would be to rotate. R again, it will rotate freely. So you can rotate on an X axis and Y axis. S would be to scale an object up and down. S and drag your mouse. And put them all together. You've got a mess. Okay, so what we're going to do now, unfortunately, you do again have to install two extra things to Blender in order for this to work. The first one being SE Model Importer. So once you're on this page, you want to go to Code and download Zip. I already have it, so I'm not going to install it. Second one you'll need to install is SENIM. Again, click on code, download zip, and you're good to go. Make sure it's located in a place that you can find it in future because you'll need it to install to Blender. Coming back to Blender, we go to the edit tab, preferences, add-ons, install. From here, locate where you found your SE model and SENIM downloads. And just double click the zip file to install it as an add-on. From there, go down to the add-ons tab, go to the search bar and type in SE model and it will come in here, import, export, SE support. Thing with anim, SE anim, import, export, SE anim support. Just make sure these both checked. Bottom left corner, save preferences. So with those two now downloaded, what you'd have to do is go to file, import, scroll down until you see SE model, locate the folder in which your Greyhound has exported. Greyhound exported files on warfare 6 down to x models and type in whatever operator you just downloaded in my case it would be nima for Nicki minaj i have both head and body so i'm going to do the body to begin with using what we learned earlier we'll zoom out a little bit hold scroll wheel to move around click on any random bone for the character that will help you scale the entire thing opposed to just one body part click s to scale scale that down to a, a suitable scale that down to a Scale that down to, in my case, I have no idea what's happening with her, so I'm just not going to. Using shift plus scroll wheel click, we can move up to see more of the character. As you can see, she is indeed missing her head. So what we want to do is file, import, SE model. Using this button here, we can just back out, type in Nima once again, click on her head, import. So her cute little bald head is going to be set on the floor. Our job now is to attach it to the skeleton. To do that, we would have to zoom in, click on a random part of her face. On the right side, click on object constraint properties, which will be the blue one. Add object constraint, copy transforms. Using this little pen tool, we can click on the bone at the far back of the character. That should be the main bone for the full skeleton. As you can see, nothing happened. After clicking the main bone at the back, you see another tab had just appeared. So you'd click on this and you, what you're looking for is spine four. That is the main bone that the head connects to. So click on spine four and boom, head is officially connected. You can move it around. With the head now connected, we can move on to weapons. Before we do that, if you look at the top right corner, you'll see the view display. Each one shows a different viewport display, meaning what you see on screen will change. So it'll be wire view, mesh view, material view, and render view. So what this basically means is with the render view, this is what it's going to look like as the finished product. Material view is so you can look at the character and determine whether or not the materials on the character are up to code. We're keeping it in material view. We're just going to keep it here. We're going to open up Cordycep. Now all we need is a weapon. You can do this many ways. I would suggest going back to the website that we used before for the operator. Click on hub, go to MW3 home and weapons and blueprints. Okay, so the MW3 snipers, I know for a fact, some of them have pre-built blueprints already, so you wouldn't have to build them. I'm gonna cover that most of all. Building the weapons sucks. I can make a separate tutorial on that if need be, but for now, we're just gonna keep it simple just so you're not overstimulated in this video, because I get it's quite a lot. So the XRK Stalker, the main thing you're looking for within this would be to click on it. As you can see, this is the in-game code name for the weapon. So it would be C Delta 50. Using that, if you type in on Greyhound, C Delta 50, 
and then click search and boom models so these would be ammo magazine lasers a little trick that i found that if you type in the weapon name and try bp there may be pre-built weapons already there so you won't have to individually build these weapons by scratch so in our case we're just going to install all of these as you can see that says base bp so that is going to be the default stalker default camo everything file import the model so by c delta and as you can see the bps have all been added to our folders so in my case i'm just going to click a random one okay so after changing my mind i'm going to quickly do one with the morse and let's see is there any blueprints already there is so you click on most moscow bp the most is exported what we want to do is att attach it to the arm of the character so what how we do this okay after some trial and error i've just figured out my issue my problem so what you want to do is the character that you have selected you would want to apply an animation to said character okay so i'm going to walk you through how to do that quickly so you you import whatever character you want obviously it has all the bones for me i'm just going to use izzy's arms we've got the we've got the bones in front of me we click on said bones we go up to import x anim and then this is a bunch of bunch of animations for the character. So what I want, I want a Morse inspect. So I'm going to type in Moscar, not Morse, Moscar being the code name and apply the inspect. So now you see the, the, if I click space, the entire inspect plays and so on and so forth. So what we want to do here is we want to import the weapon. So we're going to do that again, import model, uh, click on. So we get X models, type in Moscar. And we're just going to use, we're going to use this one. A bit of an ugly one. Okay, but it's okay. We're going to position that. If you click on these dots at the top, it will disable all of the unnecessary armature structures. So place the weapon using G, place the weapon. If you hold scroll wheel whilst moving an object, you can actually move them in certain axes in a very straight line. So it'll help you incrementally move stuff forward and backwards, etc. So we're going to move this forward. We're going to put this into the hand like so. We're going to move it down gonna move it down okay so that looks pretty good using r to rotate we're just gonna rotate it so it goes into the hand from there what we want to do is tick this box again so you can see all the bones as you can see this is the main bone selected so we're gonna go to pose mode click some guns you may have to hunt for but this is quite evidently the main bone for the weapon if you click g you'll see it moves the entire gun so it's so it's the main bone you go to your constraint tab again add object constraint child of you click on this eye tool by here you click on the body at the top right type in wrist make sure it's the right wrist otherwise it won't work what you want to do is reduce the influence entirely set inverse and then you can put the influence back up to 100 again and as you can see whenever i click play now it'll move the entire weapon alongside the animation if i was to add my camera here if i was to go to object mode and add my camera go into my camera using zero like we did before move my camera using r zoom out using g place it in such a way that you can see the weapon itself we'll move it a little bit to the right and up angle it down take this and what you see here you can take a screenshot of whatever pose you want from that animation so as you can see i haven't done it perfectly but you get the point that's how you attach the gun to the hands make sure you do everything correctly otherwise it will your weapon will be halfway across the workspace so make sure you do that correctly as far as lighting goes inside blender what i like to do is i go to object mode just stay in object mode don't have to what i want to do is go to edit preferences you type go to add-ons and you want to type in lighting and in here there is lighting sun position tri lighting and dynamic sky you want dynamic sky to be ticked on the right side of the screen there'll be a little arrow you click that arrow down to create click on create like so on world settings which is this little red box by here this little red circle by here click instead of world click on dynamic and boom the entire thing is completely lighter from here go to your scene view scroll down to film and transparent and that will get rid of everything so you can change the sun position according to wherever you want it i would always recommend on the top tab by here and keep it on cycles never do it on ev ev is just worse quality overall and it's not worth it cycles gpu not your cpu because your gpu will act a lot stronger than your cpu will okay with your lighting now set up and your gun positioned and attached to the hand okay 
With your sun now activated and your scene set to transparent, your gun's positioned and attached to the hand, you can now move on to the final step, which is to grab your camera and place it in any direction that you want in order to make it a beautiful looking render. So what we're going to do is we click our add tool, go down to camera, add camera, click zero again, like we did before. What I want to do is I want to make it look as in game as possible. So what you can do if these are in the way, click on this little tool and to get rid of all of that. From there, double click R just to get the best rotation possible. Otherwise, you'll be looking in circles and you will not be moving. So we want to look for the gun, find the gun, double click R again, position that, move that down a little bit so you can see the gun. And the on the right here with the little green tab, you'll see camera position, camera settings. From here, you can move the camera left and right through this tab too, as well as up and down. I don't really use that. You can use that if, if need be, but I don't typically do it anyways on the right you'll see focal length that's your fov you can set it to true field of view if you really want to it will help in some renders it will ruin others so just be careful with the fov i tend to keep it on millimeters but you can you can change it if you want to i would teach you how to texture and model and stuff like that but as of right now it's just gonna blow up your brain so there's many texturing tutorials on youtube anyway so you can just look for any of them uh, i probably won't make a tutorial on texturing there is a couple out there for you if you click this tool again and click on a body part as you can see it's quite shiny in order to just get rid of that shininess click on an object click on whatever is a bit too shiny for your liking click on that go to the material view on the top on the bottom right scroll down until you see roughness roughness is going to dictate whether it's going to be a solid object or a shiny metallic object with a lot of reflections so i would increase that just a little bit just to get rid of most of the reflectiveness of it this is not a professional texturing method this is just helpful for the basics of getting rid of a lot of the glossiness will fix some problems but not all of them so you can see we can just get rid of this the hands typically will be quite shiny and it'll look very fake and plastic so i would recommend for now just maximize the roughness on the bare skin hands because you haven't learned texturing if you do know how to texture then you know good on you try and stay away from the whole plastic looking renders they are very hard to edit in photoshop once you are happy with how your gun looks in your camera position, just use the scroll wheel to zoom out just to see what your camera will show. Make sure your file format on the right side is set to PNG. It should be the second tab down. Place wherever you want your files to be located and go to, for me, I'll put it to my, for me, I'll put it to my downloads. It's where I keep all my renders at anyways. Make sure you are set to PNG rgb rgba resolution you can set that to whatever you want and boom whilst this is ranging you'll see that your blender will be turning green this is a loading bar wait for that to finish as you can it's quite fast if you run it by gpu it is very fast if you run it by cpu it will be significantly slower image save as on whatever folder that you want i'm gonna do 3d render and name it your render is now officially completed so if you like the video make sure you like the video if it helped it in any way please be sure to subscribe once again thank you homies for watching i appreciate you don't forget every link for this video will be in the description every timestamp is at the beginning oh please skip back and forth for whatever topics that you feel like you haven't mastered yet i'm sorry this video is quite long i was meant to make it a little bit shorter but well it's kind of hard if you want to explain things the way that you would be able to understand them yeah see you guys watching even the next one deuces